Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make some cool hippie text. So to start, we're going to create a new document. We're going to do it 790 by 400. You can make this any size that you want. We're then going to grab a dark gray color and fill the background with that. We're then going to go to our brushes and create a new layer. And we're going to select a color just a little bit darker than that and hit OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and grab one of your default brushes, crank up the size, and you're just going to kind of uh, do different, basically, brush strokes here to create some different effects. But they have to be big, just to kind of give it a little bit of variation for the background. Like so. Once we've done that, we're going to hit D and X, and we're going to go ahead and type in Hippie font. And I'm using the font type Backlash BRK, of which you can download on the internet. And I've made it a pretty good size. And from there, we're going to go ahead and give this text a color. I'm going to give it a purple color. And I'm going to grab this color, copy this color code and hit OK. I'm then going to double click on this layer, go to stroke, and go ahead and make that the purple color, probably around 2 on the inside, leaving everything else the same. I'm going to drop a shadow behind that. I'm then going to go to inner shadow, make this be white. I want to put this at 90, and I'll put this at 0, and probably around 3 there. I'll then go to gradient overlay, and put this at 150 because I don't really want it to be so dark. And I'll put this at color dodge. As you can see here, it kind of makes the text uh, different colored, like the hippie look we're going for. Now this inner shadow, um, I want to go ahead and put this to normal. And you'll see here it kind of makes these harder edges. Um, and then we can up our, our distance a little bit to like to around 4. You can then up your choke. Uh, not your choke, I'm sorry, your size which will kind of soften it out a little bit more to make it just kind of blend in with everything. And that looks pretty good. Now from this point, the text is basically done. All that we're going to do at this point is go and grab a custom shape, and we're going to look for a sun um, type of shape, which we have this one and this one. Um, I'm going to go with this one, and I want to make it be kind of a burnt orange-yellow font. Kind of like so. I'm going to copy those layer styles on that and paste them onto this. And then I'll go in here, adjust the stroke back to that color. Maybe a little bit darker orange. That looks pretty good there. And hit OK. And basically just kind of go from there and do, do whatever you want to do to it. Um, putting a rainbow in, stuff like that. And there's lots of different ways you can do all that, but I, I don't think I need to go through everything with y'all um, on screen. But that's just the basic font and text idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'm just going to add a couple little few things here. And color overlay that. Just make that white. Drop the shadow. Bevel and emboss on this one. Chisel hard. Make it smaller. About like so. Hit OK. And then grab all these layers and move it over just a little bit. And just like that, you've created a nice little hippie font uh, text and scene. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in more lessons soon.